गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक बॉडी फ्लूड्स एंड देयर सर्कुलेशन एंड द टॉपिक इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू टेक टूडे इज कॉगलेशन ऑफ द ब्लड विच वी नॉर्मली कॉल इट एज ब्लड क्लॉटिंग सो द ब्लड क्लॉटिंग और द ब्लड कॉगलेशन वॉट एक्चुअली इट इज लेट इज नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस ब्लड क्लॉटिंग और द ब्लड कॉगलेशन राइट सो वेन एवर इंजरी इज देयर whenever any injury is there we see that the blood vessels get rupture and the blood oozes out from it so blood uh, it uh, it starts bleeding and it has to be stopped the process of stopping of this blood is called as blood clotting this blood clotting uh, should be done within 3 to 6 minutes depending on the injury and it is very important for the survival of a person so let's see how this very significant process takes place because whenever blood is in the intact vessels it should never get coagulated it should always be in a liquid form but once if any of the vessel get ruptured it should be stopped as soon as possible so how this can be done let's see see it's a cascade is a proper cascade system where the where the uh, inactive things getting active one by one on the basis uh, once the blood vessel get injured so as we can see here as the blood platelets as the blood platelets get injured it releases a substance called as thromboplastin the thromboplastin along with a mineral called as calcium and few proteins forms an enzyme which is called as prothrombinase so now let's see from here the cascade starts once the injury occurs and the blood platelet get ruptured it releases thromboplastin thromboplastin along with few calcium and prothrombinase uh, calcium and the protein forms the prothrombinase as we can see here in the as we can see here in the flow chart see injured tissue is there there occurs the disintegration of the blood platelets and this blood platelets when gain, when get inactivated along with the calcium and few protein it forms prothrombinase now this prothrombinase will function as an enzyme and converts the inactive prothrombin the prothrombin is a inactive form the prothrombin into thrombin it converts prothrombin into active thrombin now the thrombin will function as an enzyme now the prothrombin will function as an enzyme for the inactive fri- fibrogen which is present in the blood plasma and in the presence of thrombin in the presence of thrombin the fibrinogen converts itself into the form of fibrins the fibrogen <laughs> converts itself in the form of fibrins these fibrins form a mesh for a network fibrin will form a network and the blood vessels will get trapped into it resulting in the formation of a clot and then uh, and thus preventing the uh, loss of blood from that injured vessel as we have seen that calcium is very important along with the calcium one vitamin which is called as the vitamin k is very necessary or essential for the synthesis of the prothrombin in the liver that's why along with these uh, enzymes along with these enzymes the in minerals calcium and in vitamins vitamin k is necessary for the synthesis or uh, for the clotting of the blood